There's a new crypto mining rig that earns about 50 bucks a day and you would be a <laughs> idiot to buy one. And you're thinking, that makes no sense. Yeah, and get this, the miner's actually not even that expensive considering the massive amount of money it makes per day. And it mines a major cryptocurrency. If you know anything about crypto, you've heard of this cryptocurrency. So what is this magical miner that's actually a scam? And what exactly makes what I'm saying true? Because again, this is something you plug in and it would just earn you 50 bucks a day. That's crazy. My name is Vosk, you're on the Vosk on YouTube channel. We're gonna break it down today. Look, I love mining. Like, look at the background. I'm all for mining, crypto miners. It's a lot of fun and earning passive income, mining cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin has truly changed my life. We've even been talking about mining on the tube here for years. For example, this is also not our oldest video, but it's a very relevant one to this. The Bitmain Antminer E3 review from July of 2018 many moons ago. Okay, the latest news is that the Bitmain Antminer E9 has been unveiled and it's equivalent to 25 of the latest generation graphics cards inside of it. That's kind of crazy. It mines the ETH hash mining algorithm, most notably and really only notably in my opinion, that would be Ethereum, right? It has 2,400 mega hash of mining power only consuming 1920 watts hey babe i'm recording the wonderful miss Fosk making as much noise as she can directly above me me a d5 d gen basement dweller it's a lifestyle but in this lifestyle i've learned a lot the sales are starting so let's look at this and run the numbers the information on the shady asic miner value site is different than what bitmain is pushing is there another model on the horizon or have they just simply misunderstood? 2,556 watts is what they're claiming with a hash rate of three giga hash a second. This pulls $57 a day at a 10 cent per kilowatt hour electric rate, which means after paying $6 in electricity, you're pulling over $50 a day, almost $51, 18 grand a year. Mining the second biggest cryptocurrency, the cryptocurrency with the most utility and the worst <laughs> gas fees also in the world ever. How could you not want this? How could you not be intrigued? How does this not just turn into the best and most profitable miner to buy right now? Well, there's a little something on the horizon called Ethereum 2.0, ETH 2.0, or maybe you want a sweeter name. How about Serenity? Ethereum's consensus layer and the merge. I'll give it to you short and sweet here if you're unfamiliar. Ethereum 1.0 is proof of work. It's a mineable blockchain. They want to move to proof of stake, basically ditch mining and just have nodes, basically VPSs and just computers run the software. And blockchain, it's different than mining. It's not really an arms race like you have with miners. Miners are application specific integrated circuit miners. They're chips, they're purpose-built chips that literally only do one thing. In this case, mine ETHash, the Ethereum mining algorithm. Ethereum has something called a DAG. It continually grows over time. It's gotten pretty big. That is responsible for the miners needing a lot of memory on board, which is why it has still been profitable to mine Ethereum with GPUs as well as ASIC miners. It's an interesting design that has relatively stood the test of time, considering that they've never amended it or adjusted it. It was supposed to be ASIC resistant, but like every other cryptocurrency that seems to have said that, they just gave up and let ASIC miners take over because they've been, and I quote, moving to proof of stake, ditching proof of work for about five years now. This has been about to happen for about five years. Either Bitmain knows something we don't, or are they looking to cash in on you? An uninformed minor buyer. Because here's the kicker. The Ethereum merge, or when they merge these blockchains and move away from proof of stake, how long will they maintain 1.0? Well, as short as possible, right? So it was pushed back. It was pushed back and pushed back and pushed back. But in May of 2022, Ethereum developers confirmed that summer 2022 merge if everything goes to plan, which it never does. But Butterin, 
confirmed that the merge will be happening in August 2022. Do you think that it's interesting that Bitmain happens to have these ready to go and for sale for you? July. July is the month before August. Okay. If you buy this, you are dumb as f or you know something that I don't, which would perhaps make you a genius. Yes. Some people are speculating that we are entering crypto winter. The last time Bitmain dropped an Ethereum miner, it was after the previous, now previous, previous bull run. The Bitmain Ant Miner E3 came out almost exactly, okay, four years ago. It was profitable when it came out. It was cheap. Ethereum rebounded some. It actually went up in price versus its initial uh, price that they had listed it for. This thing proved to be ill-suited for Ethereum long-term. The DAG outgrew what this miner could do. It's always so interesting that Bitmain comes out with these miners just a little bit too late for us retail miners. It's almost like they get rich behind the scenes with their designs. It's almost like they have their own big mining farms. It's almost like their buddies with millions and millions of dollars are the ones that are loaded up with E3s in a better time frame, much like the E9. I truly think everyone who buys this is dumb as f I don't know a nicer way to say it. Because Bitmain is trying to dupe you with these ant miners. I've seen this before. This is honestly really weird. I think we're gonna enter a crypto winner. I don't think the bottom's in. And obviously past performance doesn't mean it's gonna play out exactly the same, but globally things are pretty fucked right now. So why would cryptocurrency just completely soar? Unless it's finally decoupled from other asset classes. I'd love to see the day. I'll be here when that happens. This is right now then? I don't know. If you buy this miner, you're betting on Ethereum not merging anytime soon. This thing's priced to move, okay? But the numbers still will leave you absolutely f if Ethereum turns off mining when they want to. Let's be honest, they probably won't. But is this really the bet you want to take? Maybe I'm getting soft in my old age. Maybe I'm not the gambling man I once was. But this seems like an idiotic play. And this is exactly the reason why people hate Bitmain and oftentimes despise ASIC miners, largely in part due to the fact that ASIC miner manufacturers are some of the <coughs> companies the world has ever seen. Yes. Yes, much worse than Nintendo Switch and their Joy-Con design. Hey guys, it's Ms. Voss here to tell you about a new project that just launched, Hypermine. Hypermind's goal is to bring a dynamic, exciting, and community-driven ecosystem to the BNB chain and eventually expand to Pulse Chain. They're a sister project of Growth DeFi and are run by the same management team, so they have experts with a proven track record. Their token, HMine, will allow holders to invest in an opportunity for dividends from their treasury bankroll with the availability to diversify their portfolio. Users can also stake their HMine tokens to receive additional rewards. Their token will have a limited supply of 200,000 with a fair launch, meaning there are no pre-allocations of the token to their team. To learn more about Hypermine, check out the link in the video description below. Bitmain normally doesn't offer their best miners as spot. For example, the Bitmain Amp Miner XP offered in bulk initially in very high prices later on offered at spot what spot means is basically one it's ready to ship it's not futures but also allowing a simple just buy now order quantity of one as opposed to bulk order again they want to deal in bulk purchases and they would prefer to sell futures they want to sell miners that they don't even have built yet. Another key takeaway looking at this listing is the ETH slash ETC miner. This is being billed as not just an Ethereum miner, but also an Ethereum Classic miner. So that's great. That's all fine and dandy until you realize Ethereum Classic is like Bitcoin cash compared to Bitcoin. Like, do you understand that Ethereum Classic is fucking worthless compared to Ethereum? Just like Bitcoin cash especially both of these coins in regards the amount of dollars mined daily they are peanuts to an elephant thank you Dwayne Michael Carter ethereum mining profitability has often outpaced bitcoin mining profitability per month the money that there is to just be extracted from mining ethereum is absolutely nuts note the shipping date 
they claim it could ship as late as the 31st. If it ships after that, no big deal for them. And they've done that before. People waited two months for the Antminer L7 to ship after its original projected ship date. This thing could just end up shipping a couple months late and Ethereum may no longer even be mineable. Some people think there's writing on the wall right like oh yeah no 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 like they know something we don't know that's why they're doing this no they know something they hope you don't know which ethereum is moving away from being mineable and this thing will go from incredibly profitable to not very profitable i may be wrong again but ten thousand dollars four dollars 17 cents per mega hash this is an absolute beast in mining ethereum but it's not the best Ethereum miner when it comes to efficiency, and it's really got some of the worst timing possibly ever for a consumer. Could be the best timing for them. You don't want to be stuck buying the shovels for the gold rush, and they're out of gold. So basically, any way you slice it, this is like really weird that they're doing the exact same thing again. It proves everyone's point that they're just freaking liars and schemers and scammers. If you buy one of these, good for you. I'll be honest, I'm gonna try to get one in on loan. I would even rent one, but the last thing I'm gonna do is build a mining farm of these. And let's address the question that everyone who knows nothing but just a piece of something says, but it can mine other coins. Yeah, yeah it can. It can mine other coins. Other coins with low market caps. Other coins that are, in comparison to Ethereum, absolutely worthless. If you wanna look at Ethereum, it's the sun. And these other coins are ants. So once the sun goes away, what do you think happens to the ants, buddy? They die. They're worthless. They can't stand. They can't hold a anything. I don't care that ants can lift, what, 50 times their body weights and they're actually all a little like mini bodybuilders. Okay? It's ridiculous. It's an uninformed, ignorant, and just naive opinion. Unless you are speculating that one of these coins would truly basically be the next Ethereum. Then you would end up being a genius. But I don't think that's the case. Not with this miner. The risk versus reward, it's not there. It's not even close. But I can tell you what's got good risk reward. Yeah, subscribe to the Voscoin YouTube channel. Why? Because we have the CCO. That's the chief cutie officer, Tails. Our resident sheep, our Dogecoin here at Voscoin. Also the owner of the channel. And of course, the beautiful star that was in the Ant Miner E3 review four years ago. And she's still crushing it because she's badass. And for no other reason, you should subscribe for Tails Clips. All right, so there you have it. That's the video, that's the statement, that's the point of view, that's the stance. I hope you enjoyed it. If you disagree, I sincerely think you're completely wrong. I don't know everything, but I know something. I'll see you on the next one.